So this project, for me personally, is the end of a six-year journey that we've been working very closely with the same KIA project team. We started on Women's Services at Wexham through to the Emergency Assessment Centre and then onto this massive project. So I was lucky. We have already built a good relationship with Trust, working for them for three years before we moved to this project. So in a sense, this was a very uh, performing team, very well bound team. The existing hospital is in not a great state, so this is going to represent a huge change to the local community. Massive step change for all the, uh, the nursing and clinical staff. And hopefully, will be very well received by um, everybody, patient and staff alike. This new development on the Heatherwood site in Ascot is a really much needed uh, programme for the local community. So in the new hospital, everything is under one roof. So it, the journey times for patients are considerably reduced. The patient experience is really enhanced by such a fabulous new modern state-of-the-art building which is designed for elective care in, in the current century. If you look at the design of the existing hospital, it's looking very tired. I think what's been achieved is something quite special. So special for the community, special for the NHS and a stunning building overall. So the diagnostic facilities that we've got in this hospital, uh, starting with radiology, so we have two plain film rooms, an MRI, CT scanner, five ultrasound rooms, so that's for general ultrasound and maternity, and then new to the hospital we've got uh, mammography. The other area that we have is the endoscopy area, so we've increased from one endoscopy suite to two, but the facilities in general down there are much improved. Three years ago, I was standing on the road and looking at a 21 meter slopey hill with uh, full of uh, tree trunks and thinking how we're gonna do it. But in a year's time, we did about 30,000 meter cube of cut and fill, numerous retaining walls to bring this area uh, bring it to an, into a shape but then we were unfortunate uh, with the global pandemic but we adopted very quickly adopted the procedures new way of working and we did not stop the project for a single day so this only happens when you have a very well bound performing team on the project this project has been entirely modeled in revit so it's been essentially it's being built virtually before we were actually started construction here. This was a, a lesson that we, um, we learnt and developed from in ED, where instead of just using the model as a way of the construction people to, to think about it, on ED we showed the end users what it's actually going to be like, and in many cases a lot of the changes came about before it was even built. We were immersing the consultant teams and also the clinical teams into their new spaces and that gave them the ability to sort of understand what the spaces were doing and you know gave them the opportunity to move things around um, at that stage before we've built anything. On this project and on ED project we instigated something called off the record chats or hats off chats when we would go and often sit around the pond here and just talk through problems as construction professionals and how we would solve them. With some teams we, we don't seem to get on as well. With this team we managed to get on uh, right from the outset. We gelled together really well. Uh, what worked I think particularly well on this one was we, we have to have a meeting every month to sign off the programme. But It was an excellent way of uh, picking up uh, potential issues going forward and it actually helped us hit those and make sure that we, we ironed those out in advance. This project really allowed us to showcase every single strand within the Kia business. Kia construction team built this project. Kia um, professional services providing us really detailed complex analysis and input. Kier m and &E services were able to help us self-deliver this scheme so we had to build a roundabout to bring the new traffic flow into the building which Kia Highways helped us with. So Kia Utilities helped us to install all the telecoms network services and also help us to divert a 450 main strategic water main across the project. We've been able to design the build to modern standards with state-of-the-art 
equipment and technology within the building. So this is hopefully something that will stand us well for another hundred years. Uh, working with Keir was, was enjoyable. Um, I've worked with lots of contractors over the years and I have to say I've really enjoyed this. I mean we had a meeting last week as a closed down meeting with all the consultants around the table and that appeared to be, be the same for everybody. The collaboration between the core members uh, throughout the design and construction process has really been outstanding. I have worked on a previous build on a London hospital, nothing like the size of this, but I think the relationships between Keir, the capital team and the clinical and operational team, which is where I've come in, I think has been really outstanding. Uh, really good working relationships, a good understanding of what each individual's role is and what they bring to the table. Actually, it's been a very pleasurable experience.